Good everyone. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Patrick Lynch. I'm the public information officer for the Ansonia Police Department. Uh, this uh, press conference today is to update everyone on the missing person and the suspicious death investigation uh, at six and a half uh, Myrtle Avenue in Ansonia. I'll now turn it over to Chief Coda. Good afternoon. My name is Chief Andrew Coda of the Ansonia Police Department. Standing here with me is Lieutenant Patrick Lynch and Mayor David Cassetti. We've called this press conference to give a status update of the homicide missing child investigation that the Ansonia Police, Connecticut State Police, Derby Police, and FBI are currently investigating. Shortly, Lieutenant Lynch will provide details regarding the homicide as well as the missing child investigation. As you can see, this is a two-part investigation. The first is a homicide investigation, second is a missing child investigation. We have engaged all of our resources to investigate this case. Our main focus at the moment is finding Vanessa Morales and making sure she is safe. I would like to thank the uh, Connecticut State Police, FBI, Derby Police for their assistance with this investigation. I will now ask uh, Lieutenant Patrick Lynch to provide further details. I'm just going to try to give us a timeline of uh, from beginning to end how we came about this and where we're currently at. December 2nd at approximately 12.56 p.m., uh, the Ansonia Police Department received a request for a welfare check at 6 and a half Myrtle Avenue for a female who failed to show up for work or call in sick. Officer went to the residence, attempted to make contact, but re received no answer at the home. At approximately 7.30 p.m., a second request was received for a welfare check at 6 and a half Myrtle Avenue. Officers were again dispatched to the home, and while checking the home, made a determination to force entry. Once inside the house, the body of a white female was located and the female was deceased. There, was, there has been no positive identification of the victim at this time. Information was received that a Vanessa Morales, age one, should have been in the home, but there was no one else in the home. The home was secured as a crime scene and the Connecticut State Police Central District Major Crimes Unit was called in to assist in the processing of the scene. Detectives from the Ansonia Police Department began to contact, interview the father of Vanessa Morales, as well as family members from the father and mother side to determine the whereabouts of Vanessa. The Federal Bureau of Investigation joined the, in the investigation to assist on the missing child. As of this press conference, Vanessa is still missing and detectives from the Ansonia and Derby Police Departments along with members of the Connecticut State Police are still actively trying to locate Vanessa. Our main priority at this time is to locate Vanessa Morales and bring her home safely. To my left is a picture of Vanessa Morales that we have circulated and we ask that you please continue to circulate. Vanessa is a white female, uh, brown hair and brown eyes. Uh, we do not have a last clothing description, um, and our best timeline puts her uh, being seen by a relative on Friday evening. Um, the death investigation is being handled as a homicide, and positive identification of the victim is pending the autopsy at the State of Connecticut, Office of the Chief Medical Examiner, tomorrow morning. We are asking anyone with information to please contact the Ansonia Police Department at 203 735-1885 or on Facebook at Ansonia Police Department or through uh, TIP411, which is an online service at www.tip411.com where any information can be left, left anonymously to the police department. Uh, Mayor, would you like to say a few words? Well, I, I want Welcome to, to I want to thank the Ansonia Police Department the federal and state agencies for assisting us and hoping to find this young child. This is first and foremost on my mind since I got the call this morning at one o'clock about this. So um, I want to thank them and I hope for uh, a recovery of this ch child. So thank you. I'll open it up to any questions if any of the reporters have questions for us. Lieutenant Lynch, can you tell us, is the father a suspect in this case? Uh, we have no identified suspects in the case at this time. Uh, we are following several leads and we're uh, tracking those down as we go and uh, making sure that we uh, check everyone out. Is the father being cooperative? The father has been cooperative. He's been interviewed by us. Uh, we are still in the process of gaining information from him. Did the father live in the home? Uh, our information is the father occasionally stayed at the home but did not live in the home. Is there any active search going on as far as, as far as uh, law enforcement or others going out and actually searching the child? 
We have uh, members of uh, Ansonia Derby and the state police out checking different locations that we've been able to glean through information received by as part of our investigation. Can we talk about Amber Alert? When does it rise to that level? Is that a silver alert right now? We, we've had multiple discussions. Uh, we're at the point where um, we are following every lead we have. Once we've exhausted all those leads, we will then look at and probably institute an Amber Alert. The victim is not identified positively and out of respect for the for the family we will not uh, tentatively or um, guesstimate as to as to the identity of the victim what can you tell me about the other parent uh, excuse me what can you tell me about the other parent uh, the, other, the other parent is is the father of the child we've interviewed him he's he's cooperated and we're still getting information from him we are not releasing any names at this point what of the mother we are not releasing any other information at this point. Uh, any further, I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. Is there anybody else in the picture? Uh, you said the father sometimes doesn't stay there. Did the mother have a, a our, other relation? Our information is that the, the, the mother and child lived in the home. Okay, any future uh, press releases will be getting out at as we receive information and it'll be done via the electronic means that we normally use. Thank you all for coming, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, at this point, we are not gonna release the details as this is an ongoing investigation. We don't wanna compromise uh, any future leads may, we, we may receive. So you have any reason to believe that the public might be we do not believe the public's in danger. We do not believe this was a random act. We believe it is an isolated incident, and we are actively pursuing all leads related to it. Do you believe it could be called domestic? Uh, we're not making that determination at this time. Based on your two visits, one at 12 and change and one at 7.30 in the evening, uh, were there conditions of the home? Was there any, anything different about the residence that caused you to make entry? Well, I can tell you the officers who went there at 7.30 when they were doing a walk around the house, they had seen some things that we're not going to release the details just to compromise our investigation. They had some, seen some things that raised their suspicion. In consultation, uh, we decided that it was best to force entry and be better safe than sorry to make sure that uh, the home was clear. And that's when we found the deceased female. Have police been called to this home before in the past for other issues? Through our records checks, we have uh, no other calls at the house of, of any meaning and um, no other calls with any of the residents that we have uh, identified as living there. Is that property an apartment or a house? Or it is a single family house. Thank you. Okay, folks, thank you very much.